Ephemeris appears to be of the position that God is possible. And I want to take a closer look at what he uses to substantiate that position. It appears that Ephemeris uses Higgs Field to justify his God belief. About a month ago in one of my videos, he wrote the following. The Higgs field can be justly described as number one, immaterial, number two, omnipotent, and number three, omnipresent. Earlier, you stated God was impossible because nothing can exist with any of these qualities. I demonstrated that they can and do exist as plausible descriptions of Higgs. You are just frustrated because you lost your argument if you stop to think. Be on your way. Be ignorant. What is Higgs field? Higgs field is the mechanism that attempts to explain how the masses of the W and Z bosons arise as a result of electroweak symmetry breaking. It is the mechanism by which gauge bosons get a non-zero mass. So right off the bat, ephemeris is illegitimate because his first predication, which is that Higgs field is an example of something immaterial, is utterly false since Higgs field is simply a mechanism and not a concrete unto itself. It will be similar to trying to claim that photosynthesis, which is a mechanism by which plants get energy, is itself an example of something immaterial. It is wholly illegitimate. Let me now provide a complete refutation of Ephemeris' position in regards to God and Higgs field. Higgs field is not immaterial because it is hypothesized to have a carrier particle called a boson that facilitates all elementary subatomic particles with mass through its interactions with them. And particles are material, not immaterial. The Higgs field is not omnipotent as it cannot, for instance, blow up a mountain or paint a picture. Therefore, it does not have all power. And finally, the Higgs field is not omnipresent unless you are willing to say everything is matter since that's what the Higgs field deals with. And I'm pretty sure a person like Ephemerance who hates to deal with an absolutes since he loves to wallow in possibility and uncertainty will be loath to claim all things are matter. In conclusion, in order to add a measure of fairness and objectivity, I want to bring in an outside arbitration and I want to choose Lynch Mob 2000 to arbitrate this situation and to decide who is correct. The reason why I choose Lynch Mob 2000 is because other than myself and Ephemerance, he's the only other person I know of on YouTube who has shown an interest and a measure of expertise in quantum mechanics slash particle physics. And Lynch Mob, if you have the time and the inclination, I want to ask you to screen this presentation and decide if Ephemeris' position has validity and is legitimate. Choice one is no, Ephemeris is wrong. And choice number two is yes, Ephemeris is correct. If you don't have the time and can only briefly write in the comment section choice one or you choose choice number two, that's no problem. If you have the time and inclination, you can weigh in with a little heavier feedback if you see fit. If Lynch Mob cannot participate, if anyone else out there who happens to screen the video and has expertise and knowledge in particle physics or quantum mechanics, I ask that you weigh in with your thoughts on if Ephemeris' position is correct or if I have, like I believe, refuted completely and thoroughly his position in regards to God and Higgs Field.